very grateful that he's okay and not hurt worse. I mean, anything can happen, and uh, it's just a tough, tough situation. Baltimore Ravens head coach John Harbaugh speaking now tonight after a linebacker for the team was shot in downtown Cleveland. Former Ohio State standout Malik Harrison wounded outside a club after witnesses say somebody started firing into a crowd of people. A person started firing into a crowd of people. Think about that, man. And this won't be on first take or undisputed. You ain't going to hear Shannon Sharp's take on this. If this same player had an incident in the hotel room with a young lady or a DUI, Skip and Shannon would be talking about it all day. Stephen A., whoever else he got on first date, Jason Williams, Keyshawn, Jay Williams, Keyshawn, and Kellerman or whatever, Show is <laughs> round the horn first. Um, PTI <laughs> first things first, speak for yourself. Every sports show would be talking about this, but they're not going to talk about this because they know who did this. They already know who did this. They would, even if they had no one in custody, they'd know who did it. Someone shot into a crowd of people at a club. I'm 6,500 videos in. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that was a son, man. Someone shot into a crowd of people outside of the club. And hit an NFL player and we're not going to hear anything about it. Because... That's not what we're being told. We're being told that these people are big victims and they're walking around tiptoeing all over the place and just can't catch a break. <laughs> Glady is on there always looking to try to jam them up <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> News 5 investigator Scott Knoll has more tonight of what he's uncovered. According to a police report, Malik Harrison told investigators he was outside Sausalito on 9th here, part of a crowd of people cleared out of the bar by security after a fight inside. All of you guys who subscribe here, you guys would have been gone. Once they would have cleared that club out and kicked a bunch of people out, told a bunch of sun people they had to leave. Everyone who subscribed to this channel would have been in their car, headed in some direction fast away from this scene. But you guys are selfish because you won't share these videos and let other people know. If a son man is told he got to leave somewhere, it's trouble. Even if you're not involved with the situation, if you just lucky enough to be like, oh, you like you say you just like coming out the club to smoke a cigarette. And, and you know, it's people on the dance floor at the bar. They don't know what's going on. But you just have to be outside smoking a cigarette. You see a son man getting put out. You go grab all your people. We leaving. In this case, a bunch of some people was put out the club. <laughs> okay. According to a police report, Malik Harrison told investigators he was outside Sausalito on 9th here. Part of a crowd of people cleared out of the bar by security after a fight inside. Plywood covers the shattered window of a nearby Dunkin' Donuts at East 9th and Rockwell. The glass shot out when police say a gunman opened fire on a crowd near the intersection around 8.30 Sunday night. Frank Kajenki heard it all from the 12th floor of the nearby Superior Building. When I was at my desk, I hear these shots, like the popping sound, pop, pop, pop. I knew it wasn't firecrackers or anything, so I knew it was a gunshot. Shooting the Cleveland police say continued even as officers arrived. Police stopped a car near East 9th and Chester and say they found two guns inside. Four people from Central and Southern Ohio arrested on gun, vandalism, and inducing panic charges. Meanwhile, police say 23-year-old Malik Harrison was taken to Metro Health. According to a statement from the Baltimore Ravens, the linebacker was attending a gathering in Cleveland and suffered a non-life-threatening injury after being struck by a bullet in the left calf. Krichenki says none of it makes sense. You should never be shooting people, but this was definitely not the place to do it. He called the gunfire unnerving. 
on a weekend when the city found itself on a national stage, now making headlines for all the wrong reasons. A player from a, one of the f flagship organizations in all of professional football was shot as a man opened fire outside of a club into a crowd of sun people. The people that they care about so much. The people they got on the f spray painted on the field. That their lives matter so much. They got stuff on the helmets and the jerseys about how these people's lives matter so much. One problem though. This son man was shot by another son man. So we can't talk about it. We can't even talk about it. Think about that. Just think about that. We can't even discuss it on none of our shows. The only show you'll probably see this on is Fearless with Jason Whitlock. You won't see this on any sports show. None. A Sunman player was shot. Could you imagine if this guy had been playing pickup basketball, sprained his ankle, couldn't play for a couple of weeks? Shannon and Skip would be talking about it all morning. I can't believe he did that. I was selfish, you know? It'd be memes on him all. Like getting crossed up by Allen Iverson, put his head on like somebody else's body. <laughs> all type of memes and <laughs> this son man gets shot at a club and the sports shows can't even discuss it because it was a son man but if it was a glacier glider a fan who yelled something at him that could, that someone thought was a word that was derogatory. And then later we found out he was yelling something else and it was misinterpreted. The NFL would release a statement. The teams would all release statements. <laughs> if a fan touched him, Fan threw something and it landed in his vicinity. A fan made an insensitive comment. <laughs> All that would be a week long conversation in the country about race. <laughs> Sun man fires into the crowd that he's standing in and shoots him. Even though he had nothing to do with the situation that was going on. And they can't even mention it. He's shooting people, but this was definitely not the place to do it. He called the gunfire unnerving on a weekend when the city found itself on a national stage, now making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Bullets flying, so yeah, it's not a good thing at all. And, and it is a black guy, sure. The police report does not say why Harrison was in Cleveland yesterday. We do know the Ravens had a bye week and didn't play yesterday. The Ravens say Harrison was scheduled to return to Baltimore today. Reporting downtown, I'm News 5 investigator Scott. Former Ohio State Buckeye turned Ravens linebacker Malik Harrison is recovering after he was shot after a fight broke out in a club on Sunday night. The team was on its bye week and put out a statement on the incident today. Our Brandon Simmons now joins us from the newsroom with more details on this. Brandon, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Russ. This was a star-studded weekend here in Cleveland with so many celebrities in town for Saturday's Rock Hall induction event. Now, unfortunately, the weekend came to an end last night with an NFL player getting shot while downtown. Now, think about it. The whole music industry is in Cleveland this weekend. <laughs> Jay-Z's getting and got inducted into the Hall of Fame. The greatest of all time in many people's minds. I got him up there. He's in he's in my top ten. <laughs> Everyone's in Cleveland. 
I mean, the whole celebrity world is in Cleveland. All the activists, because remember, they were all activists last year. They all cared so much about Sun Men Lives. They all were activists. They all, they all demanded change. And <laughs> that could have been me. I could have been a 45-year-old fentanyl addict with enough fentanyl in my system to kill an elephant. <laughs> with all my arteries blocked 90%, <laughs> trying to use the same counterfeit bill in the same store twice within a 20-minute period, <laughs> fighting with cops <laughs> on the side of the street. That could have been me. Well, you know what you're not going to hear this week from any of these celebrities or any of these basketball players or football players? That Malik Harrison could have been them. And you know why you're not going to hear it? Because they're not going to talk about it. They're not going to be asked any questions about it. They, they would have to bring it up on their own. The reporter's going to say, hey, man, what do you feel about... Like, it's so much crime in America. Because, you know, they, they're not going to isolate. They're going to say America. Even though we know that where all the crimes happen, all the murder... So much murder in America. So much gun violence in America. What do you feel about Malik Harrison incident? Who's Malik Harrison? Uh, he's a linebacker from the Baltimore Ravens who was shot in Cleveland. Oh, man. R.P. to him, man. Well, he, he didn't die. Oh, for real? Oh, okay. Well, they not going to know what happened. Because this ain't news. But I guarantee you, if this was an election year and a crackhead choked on his own vomit in the back of a squad car somewhere, <laughs> some crackhead with 200 arrests, <laughs> they all would know about it if this was an election year. They all would be talking about that could have been me. <laughs> well, fellow football player in the NFL. Doing what all NFL players do. Young guys with a bunch of money party. None of them will say that could have been me. Wow. Baltimore Ravens linebacker Malik Harrison, as you said, told police everyone was kicked out of a club near East 12th Street and Rockwell by security after a fight broke out. Now, a person in the crowd outside had a gun and everyone started to run. Police who were in the area reported hearing upwards of 20 gunshots when they were just blocks away. Now, Harrison was hit in the lower leg and was taken to the hospital by EMS with non-life-threatening injuries. Baltimore Ravens head coach John Harbaugh addressed the incident at a press conference earlier today. I don't think it's severe at all. We're going to, they're in the process of getting it checked out with the doctors. I haven't heard back on that report yet, but uh, it's not a, it was in the lower leg, I think. So uh, I'm optimistic that it's, it's going to be okay. Feel bad for, for the situation. Happy that he's okay. You know, very grateful. Quickly got a description of the suspect's vehicle from an off-duty officer who was nearby. They pulled that car over just blocks away near East 9th Street in Chester. Four people were arrested and faced charges including improper handling of a firearm and inducing panic. But more charges could be added at a later time. Now as for Harrison, he was supposed to head back to Baltimore today where, where he will be evaluated by his team's doctors. With the number of shots that were fired, Russ, he and everyone else who were at that scene are very lucky this didn't end up much worse. Yeah, and once again, he wasn't a bye this week, which is why he was in town. Correct. Yeah, he was on a bye week, so they're allowed to travel. They oftentimes will go where the big events are, and obviously this weekend it was here in Cleveland. Yeah, okay. Brandon Simmons, thank you. Sure. A former OSU football player is recovering after being shot over the weekend. The Baltimore Ravens say Malik Harrison was shot in the leg while attending a gathering in Cleveland. 10TV's Olivia Eugenio has been working on this story for us. And Olivia, do police know who's responsible? Yeah, so Cleveland police say there are four suspects in this case. Two of them are from Columbus. Here they are from. Okay, so we know who lost the fight. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they got the worst of that, man. 
It was like, man, we ain't going out like that, man. Okay, fine. Fine. But you are going to shoot the people who beat you up, right? Wait, you're going to just shoot everybody at everybody who's out there? <laughs> and that's normal. You heard the coach. The coach was like, eh. People expect this. People don't, people aren't outraged by this. This is just normal behavior. Y'all got lumped up at the club. <laughs> and you just gonna shoot every everybody who's outside in front of the club. And I know that liberals think they're helping us by doing this. No, they don't. But some people think that this is help. Well, you know, <laughs> if it was if it was glacier gliders, nobody would even talk. Well, it's, it's always you. <laughs> it's always you. It's very rarely them. So, like, what are you talking about? These dudes got lumped up at the club. They got the worst of it. And their response to that was to shoot everybody who was standing out in front of the club. Do you know that all the celebrities that were in town this weekend? How many of them could have been in there? Only one got hit, the linebacker from the Ravens. You know how many celebrities could have been at that club? They didn't care. Beyonce and Jay-Z could have been there. Not really, but Beyonce and Jay-Z know better. <laughs> it ain't around y'all, man. Beyonce and Jay-Z stay far from y'all. And so do the other celebrities. <laughs> that aren't rappers. All the celebrities that aren't rappers know to stay away from y'all. Here they are from left to right, 30-year-old Stephen Donald Coulter, from, uh, Jr. from Zanesville, 26-year-old Darius McDonald from Blacklick, 26-year-old Donnell Dearman from Columbus, and 28-year-old Lance Brown, the second from Columbus. Now, the Baltimore Ravens released a statement about this today. They say he was shot in his left calf and is expected to be okay. They say he's returning to Baltimore today after going to a hospital in Cleveland. He was a linebacker for the Buckeyes. This is his second season with the Ravens. And Harrison went to Walnut Ridge High School where he played football and basketball.